Welcome back to Explorey FPS. It's Saira here. A lot of viewers have been commenting and reporting an issue where Clownfish Voice Changer doesn't change their voice. You might have come across many tutorials on YouTube, but the reason behind this issue is simple. Clownfish doesn't have its own built-in audio adapter. Instead, it relies on Windows or Realtek audio adapters. I've already covered a method that works without third-party tools. But today, I'll show you how to properly configure Clownfish with a virtual audio adapter. This method ensures your voice actually changes in apps like Discord, Zoom, and Steam, making it much more reliable. Understanding how it works. Before we dive into the setup, let me explain why this issue happens. Some microphone adapters don't work well with Clownfish, especially in certain applications like Discord. Even if Clownfish is installed correctly, your voice might remain unchanged because the microphone audio isn't being routed properly. What we're going to do is introduce a virtual cable, a third-party audio adapter that acts as a bridge. It captures the microphone input, passes it through Clownfish, then sends the modified voice to your application. This way, every app receives the altered voice, ensuring Clownfish works as expected. This setup has additional benefits too, such as separating Discord audio, while applying voice changes only during streaming. We won't be covering that in this video, but if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate guide. Now let's get started. Step one, download and install Clownfish Voice Changer. First, you need to download Clownfish Voice Changer. I'll provide the official download link in the description. Click on it and it will redirect you to the official website. Once there, make sure to download the correct version. If you're on a 64-bit Windows system, select the 64-bit version with 32-bit VST support. If you're unsure about your Windows version, here's how to check. Click on the Windows icon and type System Information, then open it. Look for System Type. If it says x64 base PC, you have a 64-bit system. If it says x86, you have a 32-bit system. Now download the correct version and install it. Follow the on-screen instructions, and once installed, we can move on to the next step. Step 2. Check if your microphone works properly. Before configuring Clownfish, we need to verify that your microphone is working. Here's how to check. Click on the Windows icon and type Control Panel, then open it. Click on Hardware and Sound, then select Sound. A new window will open. Click on the Recording tab. Locate your default microphone. If you speak into it, you should see green bars moving, indicating that your microphone is detecting sound. If you don't see any movement, your microphone might be disabled or not working properly. In that case, right-click on it, select Enable, then set it as default device. If it still doesn't work, try plugging it into a different port or updating your audio drivers. Step 3. Download and install VB Audio Cable, Virtual Adapter. Since Clownfish doesn't have its own audio adapter, we need to install a virtual one. We'll be using VB Audio Cable, which I'll link in the description. Click on the link and download the version that matches your operating system. If you're on Windows, select the Windows version. Mac users can download the Mac OS version. Once downloaded, right-click on the zip file and select Extract here. You'll need WinRAR or 7-zip for this. Inside the extracted folder, find the setup file that matches your system architecture, either 32-bit or 64-bit. Right-click on the setup file and select Run as administrator. If you don't run it as an administrator, the installation may fail. Once installed, restart your PC to ensure the changes take effect. Once you restart your PC after installing VB Audio Cable, you might notice that there's no sound coming from your headphones or speakers. This happens because Windows automatically switches the default output device to VB cable output. To fix this, right-click on the speaker icon in the system tray, then open Sound Settings. Under the Output Device section, select your actual audio output, whether it's your headphones or speakers, to restore the sound. Step 4. Configure VB audio cable to capture microphone audio. After restarting, we need to set up the virtual cable to properly route our microphone input. Open Control Panel again by clicking on the Windows icon, typing Control Panel, and opening it. Click on Hardware and Sound, then go to Sound. 
In the new window, go to the Recording tab. Right-click on your default microphone and select Properties. Navigate to the Listen tab. Check the box that says Listen to this device. In the Playback, through this device drop-down, select VB Audio Cable instead of your speakers. Click Apply, then OK. What this does is reroute your microphone audio through the virtual cable instead of your normal audio output. Step 5. Configure Clownfish to use VB Audio Cable. Now, let's set up Clownfish Voice Changer. Open Clownfish by clicking on the Windows icon, typing Clownfish Voice Changer, and launching it. In the taskbar, bottom right corner, click on the Clownfish icon to open its menu. If you don't see it, click the arrow icon to expand hidden icons. Right-click on the Clownfish icon and select Setup. In the Setup menu, you'll see a list of available audio devices. Select VB Audio Cable as your input device. Click Install or Set as default to apply the changes. Now, Clownfish will process the microphone audio coming through the virtual cable instead of your default microphone. Step 6. Test Clownfish and Setup in apps like Discord, to test it if Clownfish is working, open Clownfish and make sure the microphone icon is active. Click on Voice Changer and select any voice preset. Speak into your microphone. If your voice sounds altered, everything is set up correctly. Now, let's make sure applications like Discord recognize the modified voice. Open Discord and go to User Settings, Gear Icon. Click on Voice and Video Settings. Under Input Device, select VB Audio Cable instead of your microphone. Under Output Device, keep it set to your headphones or speakers. Scroll down and use the Mic Test feature to check if the modified voice is being transmitted. If you hear the changed voice, you're all set! This setup will also work in apps like Zoom, Steam, or OBS Studio. Just make sure you select VB Audio Cable as the input device in those app settings. Final Thoughts and Troubleshooting if your voice still isn't changing, restart your PC and check if the settings were saved. Make sure Clownfish is running in the background. Double check that VB Audio Cable is set as both the input device in Clownfish and the recording device in Windows. If there's still no change, try reinstalling Clownfish and VB Audio Cable, following all the steps carefully. That's it. Now, your Clownfish voice changer should be working perfectly with a virtual audio adapter. If you have any questions or run into issues, let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. Also, if you want a tutorial on more advanced setups, like keeping Discord normal while changing voice only in streaming apps, let me know. Thanks for watching Explodey FPS. This is Saira signing off. Stay tuned for more awesome content.